What's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck. Yes, I am back with another video. Listen, you ain't gonna wanna miss this one. A lot of y'all don't heard about this. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And please hit the like button so they can show this video to, to a billion people. You understand me? Also, look below. You'll see our merchandise. Everything you buy at the merch store. All proceeds goes back to the channel. That's how we spread the message. Listen, I just got to get to this video. Y'all been seeing this, what been going on with Dave Chappelle, right? And um, how the the, uh, the gay community, or whatever the case may be, is, or, or the you know the LGB uh, community, or whatever, been getting on him about you know what he did on Netflix recently, right? I'm gonna tell y'all something, right? First of all, I have nothing against gays. My one of my cousins that I speak about a lot that passed, he was gay, and I love him to death. You understand me? I don't give a damn what you do, as far as your sexual preference. I don't care about that. But I'm gonna show y'all. Just how the, the powers that be use that community, right, to promote the things that they want. Okay, by giving them all these different rights and making them feel as though that can't nobody say nothing about them, woo woo the woo they using them to promote depopulation for one, which is one of the main things. Like, at the end of the day, people, it's not so against that, like, they try to put out there. As soon as you say something about it, Oh, everybody got to got to got to get in their little feelings. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. If you able to have an opinion on how you feel, then other people are able to have an opinion too. I don't give a damn what's your preference is for sex though. It don't make sense. So that that within itself, you should see the plot. Why would they give them that much authority, or to think that they had that much authority, to where can't nobody say nothing about them? If you want a person to respect you, you gotta respect another person too. But that's not the agenda. You get what I'm saying? Even though they they, they speak of uh, that being a sin and this and that, it, that's that's not the agenda. You have to pay attention to what they do and what they put their focus in. It's always not what it seems. And again, I have nothing against gay people. I don't give a damn what you do. Just show life, bro. Like let, it, it ain't that serious. But they use that community and gave it up. An acronym and gave it all the power that it has to promote depopulation. That's what I want y'all to pay attention to. Okay, so it ain't the fact that, and he was right about what he said. Basically, he basically saying the same thing I'm saying on this video. It's just the fact like that guy, the same guy, the baby. He he actually murdered somebody. And nothing happened. Like he killed another nigga. It ain't nothing happened. And actually, when he, as soon as he spoke on, and I ain't saying what he said was okay. I'm not saying that, but I'm just speaking of like the whole, you know, incident when he did that, and that's when you know all hell broke loose. Most of y'all probably don't even know that the baby, which is the artist, he's a rapper, the baby, not little baby, but the baby. Most people probably don't even know he killed anybody. It ain't make no headline and news like they did with that what he said about you know the gay community i'm just showing again they're gonna keep pushing that because they own all the tv networks they own the radio stations they own all the artists they own all these platforms and they can push this type of agenda on us like i keep telling y'all be weary of how you see things because when you ask yourself like who put those ideas and ideologies in your mind it's the very people that's running the world like i ain't tell you how to feel about this and not to feel. It's the shit you see on TV. It's the stuff you see in these sitcoms. It's the stuff you see on, um, that they, that they have these celebrities do. Like, it's all a plot and game. They didn't come up with radio and television and magazines for nothing. It's all about to promote whatever it is they promoting. The negative agenda. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's just crazy how they do this right in front of our faces. And again, I have nothing against nobody, really. Go with you fucking with my family, people that I love, and you ain't just invade my space. Like, I'm cool. You do what you want to do. I have nothing against nobody in their sexual preference. I'm just showing y'all how the powers that be that control the world and how they use us or them or however you want to put it, how they use it to promote their agendas. Like, come on. Now they got it to where every person that has, that's, that's, you know, have a gay sexual preference or homosexual, transgender, whatever. Now they got it to where, you know, they, they, they are, they are very sensitive when people speak on them. 
But the thing about it, like, if, if you can have an opinion, they can have an opinion. Like, okay, that's all. It's just mutual respect. But again, there's a bigger plot. I keep telling y'all, anytime they put their main focus on something, there's a bigger plot. There's a way bigger plot. I told y'all, when they put all that on um, Bill Cosby, I knew why they jumped on Bill Cosby like that. You know what I'm saying? Twice he's tried to buy the CBS network because they understand the power of network. He even said it a couple of times in some of his um, uh, interviews how these white writers, right, will try to write black family issues without using black writers. It just don't make sense if you think about it. And it's, it's just like vice versa. I don't, I can't write about another nationality if I, I'm not a part of that. But anyway, he was just basically saying how they put things into these, these sitcoms and these shows that we see on TV, how it depicts how we see life and how we see certain things and when it comes to politics, when it comes to everything. He saw that how controlling that was. He saw that as a problem. He wanted to buy out the network, change the narrative. But once again, when you out there by yourself like that, and I ain't saying if that's what he did to those women was cool. But God damn it, let's be real, man. So sick of this shit, man. How you gonna come back 40 years later talking about what a bitch did and they got a gang of motherfuckers that said it? You know what I mean? The motherfuckers in Hollywood did some fucked up shit to this day. Like Cuz Wilder said, to this day. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of it, bro. It's a bigger plot. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with doing nothing to no women. Period. But that ain't what we talking about. We talking about how this system, how racism is is basically systematic. This is systematic racism. And if you don't know what that is, this system is built around racism. It is. And a lot of times things happen where certain. Uh, uh, cultures or certain nationalities get the shit in of the stick, and y'all know what I'm talking about. But back to what I'm saying, they just use the LGB community for depopulation. That's it. They done been speaking about depopulation forever. Everything you see that's going on is depopulation. You think they give a damn because they put cancerous uh, things into food? Oh, the F, oh, the USDA. Uh, the FDC or whoever the fuck, they the ones who approved it. So fucking what? They all in the same bed with each other. They all in cahoots with each other. Like, are you serious? I wish some, I wish some, well, I wish a big wood come to me to my over. It's FDA approved. So what? You think I'm going to drink or eat this poison because them motherfuckers said it's approved? Some of y'all need to start waking up. This is getting ridiculous. I understand some things you may not understand. Some of y'all need to start waking up. Stop being a damn sheep. Stop thinking you need them to tell you everything. Like, it blows my mind how people put so much trust in the system they know ain't right. You know these people don't give a damn about you. What else do they have to do? So, I just want y'all to take that from this video. I have nothing against no gays or whatever or the LG nothing do I have against them at all at all like I say one of my favorite cousins was gay loved him to death he ain't here today you know what I'm saying all I'm saying is the system that we all and this whole construct we all live under and live by they manipulate us in ways like this they turn groups against each other I told you take two sides to have a war you need one side that says this and another side that says that so once you get that it's wartime, and they just sit back, let us go at it with each other, and when it's all said and done, they step in and they knock over the access. Like, come on, man, start. Look, we just need to start waking up as a people, man. I don't care what how much money you got or how you look or your your background. We need to start being people like we claim we are. You got a lot of you fake ass people that's in, you know, this and to that. If you if you really who you say you are, you're a religious person, you dish you that, you should respect people as people on both sides. And look at the enemy that's sitting back, playing and puppeting everything, orchestrating everything, delegating, you know what I'm talking about? While we just sit, while we knock off each other, and then they step in and they clear the access. We gotta stop that, folks. So to each his own, like I say, man, 
we all have an opinion on how we feel, which that shouldn't even happen. We all should live tribally, but we're not living tribally. We all separated, which we experience things differently, but we also, but we, but we all got the same consequences. That doesn't make sense. If you think about it, it doesn't make sense. If I experience something different, you experience the same thing different, we, we're going to have different takes on it. So why when I don't like it, it's a problem. And when you like it, it ain't a problem. All because we experienced it differently. That's why we're supposed to live in, in tribe, tribal. You think, you think the, the, the cells in your body live different? Some of them live over there, some of them live over there. No, they all move together. Same as we're supposed to. Same as we're supposed to experience things together. The same. This is why shit's so unbalanced. But anyway, I'm sorry for all the cussing. I've been getting a lot of y'all time to cuss too much. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I just, it, you know, I get in my feelings sometimes. It's just, ugh. Anyway, uh, it's your boy Papa Duck. You know, I love y'all. I had to stop and do this in my truck. But I love y'all, man. You know, it's all love, man. You know, it ain't no, you know, I just want us to all come together. And I just, like I say, people just want to live, man. So with that being said, man, please like the video, man. Please, please, please like the video. Okay? Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Check out our merch. And um, to the next video, you already know what I'm going to say, y'all. Peace. I love y'all, man. I'm out.